I don't want to poke anyone's eye out. So listen. Here we are in uh, at Rocktown a Grill in Harrisonburg, Virginia. <laughs> only, only, only right now for this song, we're not. Where we are is we are in the courtyard. We're at Copley Square in Boston, Massachusetts. And we are, we are up here on the stage on our soapbox. We are political activists. And all of you are angry, angry mob. You're an angry mob of Bostonians. And the reason why is because this song is about a man named Charlie. And we're taking us back to 1955, Boston, Massachusetts. And there was a new law passed that the, the MTA, the, the Transport Authority... That's when they started the Great Big, wasn't it? The Transport Authority of Massachusetts uh, added a new fare to the, uh, to the rail system. And you actually had to pay a fare to get on the train but you also had to pay a fare to get off the train. And so the angry uh, mob protested and they eventually took uh, the, the exit fare off of the train. This song is about a poor guy named Charlie who did not have enough money to get off of the train, so he just kept riding and riding and riding forever and he was never seen again. So, you ask, who cares? You guys have a part of this song, and when I pull the train whistle like this, you have to show your protest and your solidarity by, by yelling, Bullshit. Bullshit to taxes, bullshit to the fare increase. As Bostonians, you should only have to pay one fare, not two. So let's try it, ready? That was horrible. Again. That still is not very good, and I can tell most of you aren't anywhere near uh, the Northeast, so let's, let's give it a real good Bostonian bullshit, shall we? That's the one!
Don't you think it's a scandal? I don't think we'll have to pay and pay. Five men may now increase the floor to the clock and get shorty on that MTA. Everybody go for uh, spring break. Here. Here. <laughs> Why? Why would you stay here for spring break? To visit what? Dog food factory. 